folks, Moose here. Well, you all know how much I love to print. Uh, you've seen many a video from paper to metal. Now here's something that's brand new that's really kind of really exciting, cutting edge. I want to share with you. This is True Life Acrylic. Now, it's going to be hard to tell from a video, and I don't want you to get the idea that this is plexiglass. This is something very special, very unique from True Life. Now, the basics is that the, the actual cover here, which is a very special acrylic, does everything from its 99% UV protection. It's, it's going to protect for, for the scratches. It's going to scratch for color rendition. This is just not just a piece of plexiglass you get at the hardware store. This is something very special. But that's just part of the process. Now, the True Life printing that you got here, let's start from the beginning. Now, when it comes to the actual setting the file, I sent him a TIFF, and I sent him the file exactly as if I would be printing it on the Epson 7900 or the P800 on exhibition paper. So that's the profile I used. Same settings I used for all that stuff, so that makes it very quick and convenient. Now, the file you see here, this photograph, and this is a photograph, okay, this is exactly how I sent it. So right off the bat, the actual print quality, just starting right there, they did a phenomenal job. And I sent them a little bit of a challenging file to start with. I have some highlights over here, which if they weren't really good, would have been lost. There's some shadow detail that if they weren't really good, they'd be lost. Now they've got both. They've got the shadow and the highlight on there. So right off the bat, their printing is really pretty nice. I mean, it's, you couldn't really ask for more from that file. So I was very pleased. But now we get to the, the true life part of it, okay? So first and foremost is that the back, the back you can't see, is black acrylic, okay? Now, why is that important? That helps bring out a lot of from that printing process. Now, between the black and the clear acrylic here, sandwiched in there is the print. How they did it, I honestly don't know. All I can tell you is that when I took it out of the box, it looked phenomenal. It still looks phenomenal. It's 24 by 30, about that. It's a photograph from a D5, straight file, okay? Really nice job. Now, a couple extra things to tell you about this true life part of it is one is you don't need to frame it. It's good to go. When it comes to putting on the wall, they've got, now I've lost, I don't have it with me. It's over there. They have a wood frame in the back, a mount. And on the top edge right here, there is a bevel. And then the bracket that goes on the wall, piece of wood this long with a bevel as well. So you put it on there, level it, stick it on, it's not going anywhere. Now, not everybody really cares about that, but I do here at Earthquake Country. Because normally I have a wire, a couple screws in the wall, and earthquakes come, and I can tell because all the prints in the office and, and the house are all <coughs> With that bracket system and the way you mount it, not only will it not come off the wall during earthquakes, it won't go askew during earthquakes. So for me, this has everything going for it. The biggest thing is the fact that this beautiful print, okay, is just that. It's big and it's gorgeous. So this is True Life Acrylic. It's brand new. I'm really excited to bring it to you. And I'm excited to send them some more files to get some more done. So check it out. Follow the links on the post. True Life Acrylic. You're going to really love the way your photographs turn out.